If you have ever been in a meeting and switched off and lost concentration, or you have struggled to catch what someone has said, you know how embarrassing and even challenging it can be to find out what you missed. If it's something important, it can land you in a lot of trouble. Or you've encountered the opposite. You focus so hard on what is being said, taking notes diligently, that you quickly get lost and fail to keep up. Then there are the meetings that you just cannot make. Now I know how you feel because I've been in every single one of those situations myself. Now, these issues are exactly what Fathom Video was designed to help us overcome, along with making our lives and workflows much easier. Now, I personally had heard a lot of good things about Fathom Video. I'd seen it online quite a lot, and I'd also heard from project managers in my office who had been using it. So I decided to give it a go. Now I've been using it pretty extensively, so I just wanted to record this video to introduce you to it, along with providing you with a quick overview and demo of how it works, the functionality and the features it provides, and also just sharing with you why I personally use it and also recommend it for other project managers. So I've just navigated over to uh, the webpage fathom.video just to give you a high level overview of exactly what this is before we delve deep into the functionality. In a very high level summary, Fathom is an AI note taker and its core functionality is to record, transcribe, highlight and summarize your meetings so that you can refer back to them whenever you need to. Now it integrates seamlessly with uh, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. So if you're using any of these applications, then you can leverage it. Now, one thing to note at this particular moment of the video is that you will access your account via the website, the fathom.video website, but you also need to download a desktop application and that will help integrate it into your workflow. So just bear that in mind. So let me just load up my account. Now I also just need to quickly mention that I've got a lot of video recordings and sensitive information in my main account. So what I'm doing, doing here is showing you uh, basically via a demo account how this tool essentially works. I can't unfortunately share some of my live meetings and recordings. But let me just open up one of the videos that has been recorded on my account. Now, one quick thing I should mention as well at this stage is that, let me just pause that. So that's playing by default. You can, one of the best things about Fathom is the fact that when you first sign up, it walks you through the onboarding process. It takes about five minutes to do, and that onboarding process will just basically demonstrate all of the functionality of the tool, you know, where to click, where to go, and basically how to use it and get it set up optimally. But better still, and I've not found this in any other kind of AI tool to date that kind of offers similar functionality to this, is that you can start a test call and you can basically just run through the process in a kind of test environment to make sure that everything's set up optimally and you completely understand how it works before you roll it out to your team. And I'll be talking about rolling it out to your team uh, shortly. I just want to quickly just walk you through basically what this screen is. So this is a call that was recorded. Um, it's one of the demo calls. And this interface allows you, so this is what you'd refer back to uh, after the call if you wanted to pick up the transcript or get an, uh, you know, pick up on the highlights and the bookmarks that you made, but I'll walk you through that now. So it's in essence, you can generate, so this is the AI aspect of the tool. Now you can generate, generate various different summaries depending on your needs. So you can have a chronological summary as an example, general, and, and then there's also Q and A and all of these kind of separate use cases that you can use to essentially um, get a high level summary of what was discussed without having to listen to it. But you could do that if you wanted to. You can play the video back from here. You can also change the playback speed, which I found very useful as well. But this is a general overview. Now, as a project manager, chances are you might want a project update. So what you'd essentially do is click that and it will generate the text in a way that's most applicable to you. So that's what essentially this is here. You obviously just need to wait for that to uh, fully complete. If you click transcript, it shows everything that was said is brought up in the transcript. And as you can see, as I kind of scroll down, it shows you where in the video that part 
of uh, you know, that the text was said, if you like. And we've also got the video here so we can see uh, exactly what was recorded. We can copy that transcript and use that in any other tool, software that we want. Maybe that's a Word doc. Uh, it could be a project management software, but you get the idea there. If I go back to summary, the project update has now uh, been provided. So you can see it's, it's given us a little kind of snapshot. So a meeting purpose, it's given us the issues, it's given us current objective. So it's really good. It's really scannable and it's really, you know, if you have a really long meeting, you can really get some insights very, very quickly. Now, if you were able to attend the meeting, one of the best things that you can do is you can highlight and bookmark different parts of things that were said. So if someone's talking at a particular moment in the call and you want to refer back to it later, you can highlight it. And what the tool essentially does, it, it gives a description of exactly what that was. Um, and then you can literally play it back. So you don't have to listen to the whole transcript again. Better still, you can copy, so you get a share link. So you could send that to a team member as well. And it's a snippet of the conversation and the whole call. So it's so good for saving time. There's also, yeah, you can share the whole call, you know, you can um, you can copy it for different project management solutions and softwares. So, for instance, Asana, Google Docs, Gmail, Microsoft Word. So this is really kind of the main interface and, and how it works. As I say, you kind of set it all up within um, your communication software of choice, whether that be, uh, you know, the ones that are supported, whether that be uh, MS Teams, whether that be Google Meet or whether uh, that is Zoom. Now, at any point, you can go into your settings and you can essentially change how this uh, software works and is set up. There's also some premium features, so you can integrate with Zapier and some other, um, you know, other tools and things like that. You've got integrations with Slack, Salesforce and things like that. Here we can see all the apps that we need. So it's really, really good uh, for that. The other thing I really like, obviously, is the tutorials, FAQs. The other thing that I kind of really want to, to stress is the pricing. It's very, well, it, it's incredibly affordable. So for instance, it's free for most use cases. It's only if you want those premium features such as advanced AI notes, automated action items, the Zapier integration, and even the ability to change your bot's name that you need to upgrade. So for most people, it's a free tool. And that's just, you know, you don't find that very often. And also on that kind of point, it's great to just try and see if it's for you. Um, I really, really like that. And I've just gone to my homepage here just to kind of show you this. Playlists are great as well because you can basically pull together a range of highlights uh, and have them all in one place. So say you have 10 calls and, you know, 10 action items from each of those calls, you could literally pull them all in into one playlist. So you're, you're pulling together lots of information. So, yeah, it's it's such a good tool. It really takes the pressure off on taking notes and even this is, sounds terrible but you know it takes the pressure off having to listen to absolutely everything you know what it's like when you're working from home your dog barks the postman knocks at the door you lose focus this just takes all of that pressure off um, if you if you miss things you can quickly find out exactly what what they were um, another thing I should have mentioned earlier is let's just say the call finished a minute ago. Well, this whole summary will be available instantly. So there's no delay. You know, you can instantly refer back to that call. So I love that as well. The onboarding process, as I mentioned at the top of the video, is really good for first time users. I, f I think it's very intuitive. It's quick and easy to get set up. And the whole kind of onboarding process was seamless. Um, and there's one other thing before we kind of close up. There's also some kind of analysis and it shows you how much you spoke in that call and it gives you a percentage compared to what everyone else was saying. And I actually think that's invaluable because you can quickly get an insight into whether you're not talking enough or whether you need to maybe back off talking. Maybe you're overtaking the conversation. Little insights like that just really push Fathom to the next level. So that's Fathom. I really, really like it. I suggest you give it a go because it's free um, for most users, probably indefinitely. There will be a link in the description below if you want to head over to Fathom Video and give it a try. But as I say, really like this tool. It makes life so much easier and I'm really, really happy with it and I strongly recommend it.